one. On June 27th, the Holy Orthodox Church, well, doesn't so much commemorate a saint as commemorate a certain story that had been told about a true occurrence. Now, the story comes from the authors of The Spiritual Meadow, a very famous spiritual book by John Moskos and his co-author or contributor, if you will, uh, St. Sophronius. And the story goes something like this. At the time when Patriarch Theophilus was reigning in Alexandria, which was around 411 AD, there was a certain man who had been consecrated to the episcopacy of Cyrene, and his name was Senesius. Now, Senesius, before he had become a bishop, had been a philosopher, and as such, he had made a number of philosophically oriented friends. One of these was named Evagrius. Now, Bishop Senesius was quite intent on bringing Evagrius to the true faith, though he knew that it was going to be a difficult journey. And so he began reading and quoting passages of Scripture and of the Holy Fathers to Evagrius, hoping that by the grace of God, Evagrius would see the light. Now, Evagrius had one problem with the faith. He felt like, well, since Christians who do good works of charity in this life essentially have lent something to God, and that then afterwards they are raised from the dead, all who ever lived in the universal resurrection. Well, Evagrius had a bit of problem with this. He had come from a long line of idol worshipers, and upon hearing these things, he felt like it was something rather mythical to him. It just didn't make sense. Well, after a period of time, the good bishop was able to convince Evagrius of his errors, and of the realities and truth of the Orthodox faith. Evagrius, therefore, was baptized, he and his entire family. And after a little while, he decided that he was going to make a large contribution. 300 gold coins he was going to give for the sake of the poor and the destitute. And so he went to his good friend, Bishop Senesios, and said, would you take this, please, and distribute it as you see fit? There's only one thing that I'm going to ask of you. And the bishop said, well, what, what would that be? He said, I want you, as a bishop, to write out a promissory note to me in return for the gold coins that our Lord Jesus Christ will certainly be indebted to me for the things that I am doing in his name. Well, Bishop Senesius readily agreed to this, and so he wrote out the note as was asked by Evagrius and gave it to him. Now, not too long after this, Evagrius sensed, and indeed it was true, that he was nearing his end. And so he instructed his children that upon his burial, that this promissory note that Bishop Senesius had written for him would be placed in his hand and buried with him. And so it was done. The good Evagrius was indeed uh, buried with the note in his hand and nothing else. After some time, to the astonishment of Bishop Senesios, Evagrius appeared to him in a vision. And he said, my dear and good friend, I want you to go to my grave and I want you to open it up and take the note that was placed in my hands by my children. Now, Bishop Senesius knew nothing of this. He had no idea that Evagrius had given this to his children to be put in his grave with him. And so he gathered up his children and many other Christians, and they went to the grave, and they opened it up. But this was only after Senesios had grilled his children on whether or not anything had been buried with Evagrius. And they had said no, not that they could remember, but as they were about to open the coffin, 
they realized that, yes, indeed, our Father did give us something to be placed in His hands, and we did so. So the coffin was opened, and indeed there was a promissory note written in the hands of Bishop Senesius in the hand of Evagrius. But there was one slight difference. The ink had been added to the promissory note, and it looked fresh and even wet as if it had just been written. And so they took the note out of Evagrius' hands and read it. And it said, I release all, you, Bishop Senesius, from any obligation according to this promissory note, because my Lord Jesus Christ has not only granted me a hundredfold since I have reposed, but he's given me eternal life as well. Everyone was astounded by this, and this has become a very famous story in the area of Sereni. And in fact, every bishop of Sereni from that point was handed this note to be kept in the cathedral church. And as far as we know, it's still there. So this is simply a reiteration of the things that the Lord has told us in his holy gospels, that anyone who keeps his word here on earth will receive a hundredfold in the life to come and eternal life. It's quite a story, but it's one that we should all take to heart.